I hate when you get caught with your caucus all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nevada caucus yesterday for the Republicans. Uh, okay, it's so it's so confusing. So Tuesday they had a primary, but it didn't count for anything, and Trump wasn't in it. Nikki Haley lost it, despite the fact she was the only candidate. None of the above one was 60-odd percent of the vote. Uh, now the uh, Nevada caucus yesterday, it was Trump and some other dude that I didn't even know was running still. Um, and Trump won with over 99%. So it just doesn't make any sense. It, holding and, and, and the caucus is what counts for the delegates for who will be the nominee. It's I don't know what happened, but Trump won, you know, and he was mm -hmm. at the T.I. partied it up, whole deal. Uh, Mason Deschamps, he's the guy that climbed the sphere. He was released on bail. Uh, there were two others that were arrested uh, for aiding him in the stunt. They are told they cannot talk to one another. So it's really sad. Okay. There's a friendship. It's broken up. yeah. But I mean, to be other than taping him, he had no one helped him. He did that all on his own. He uh, scaled that entire thing. You tried doing it, but now, I know. listen. How, how can a, how can a court tell you you can't have friends? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just trying to be friends. They, they, by the, the other two, I think, are married. And they're not <laughs> from here. But uh, Mason Deschamps, friendless. Also being charged with destruction of property and conspiracy to destroy public property. Mm -mm -mm. Public property? Well, what else did he try to destroy? I don't... Like, unless he broke something up on the top. I don't know, but that's not public. It'd be private. I don't know. Whatever the case, they're throwing the book at him. I don't know when he's supposed to be in uh, in court next, but he'll probably be on it. So <laughs> look up. <laughs> uh, snowpack in the upper Colorado Basin, pretty low recently, but systems have swung through. And thankfully, thankfully, the snowpack is about normal now for this time of year, which is good. That's going to be good news for Lake mm -hmm. Mead because mm -hmm. things were trending pretty bad yeah. uh, at the beginning of the winter. Fourth student has copped a voluntary manslaughter in the beating death of Rancho High student Jonathan Lewis. Yet again, a juvenile. Yet again, they, we, yet again we won't know their name, but uh, it appears as though at least the youngins re recognize what they've done. They've taken some sort of deal and might have a future maybe one day ahead of them. Uh, but the four yeah. that are being tried as adults for sure, they are all lured up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Oh, gosh. As we told you, 24-year-old Janarius Robinson, he's a raider, busted on a DUI charge earlier this week, but it gets worse. More details coming out. Turns out he hit a woman with his car at the valet there. Probably wasn't going incredibly fast, but um, fast enough to hit her. Uh, and then uh, pinned his car between two other cars. The woman left the valet area before police arrived, so I'm assuming she's okay. Uh, maybe a little frightened. Robinson is expected back in court uh, in June. She'll sue. She should. Neck, neck problems. Yeah. Guarantee. <laughs> Guarantee. Call Paul Powell. He'll never take more money than you and even puts it in writing. Uh, this yep. is an app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually an app. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. It's called added value. Yes. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> anyway. uh, I don't have a lawyer uh, endorsement. So, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Call him. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> that is an ad, too. <laughs> Super Bowl. This Sunday at Allegiant Stadium, the Chiefs. Pace it off against the Fireballs. Uh, Tiesto was supposed to perform as the event's first ever in-game DJ, but he just canceled due to a family emergency. But we do know who will be filling in for him, Cascade. Let's go. Cascade going to be performing, which is cool. It, it is, is so cool. I am so excited to see all of the things that Vegas has up their sleeve. You know that we're going to be, there's, Vegas is shock and awe, right? So there's going to be so many things that nobody knows are coming, and I cannot wait. I can't tell you, like, there's a legit chance that there's a conversation. I, yeah, I know this is obviously cocky, but like we're just so good at this type of stuff. I say we like I'm out there setting up trusses. <laughs> right, right. Like they're like, uh, hey guys, yeah, put that over there. Hey, me and Sean, <laughs> any ideas for this? Where are we putting the bunting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um but we, we can host this every year, no yeah. problem. Yeah. And I think everyone would be happy. I do too. <laughs> like, I absolutely do. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're going to Vegas. Awesome. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, I love it. It's very, very so good. Exciting. Very proud of our town. Hey! Vegas Golden Knights, they beat the Coyotes 3-2 last night in Arizona. Next game is Monday, back at home at the Fortress versus the Wild. Henderson Silver Knights, they face the rain in Ontario tonight. UNLV Running Rebels, they face New Mexico and Albuquerque tomorrow. The UNLV Lady Rebels, they face Fresno State and Fresno tomorrow. The Desert Dogs, they're in Canada eating uh, poutine and Love ketchup poutine. chips. They're facing the Thunderbirds this afternoon in the Scosche, Nova Scotia, in the Atlantic time zone. I was there in Nova Scotia over the summer. Say hello to my mom. 
Yeah, she was okay. I spread some of her ashes there. Finally, the Vegas Thrill. Las Vegas' new pro women's volleyball team are in Orlando tomorrow, so pretty much everyone but the Knights are out of town. Uh, be safe. Uh, travel light. <laughs> Tropicana Bridge at the 15 reopened through the Super Bowl. And then after that, the Tropicana 2.0 and the closure of the 15 will really begin. It's going to get a, be a nightmare. When you're on the Tropicana Bridge, though, don't think you're taking a left turn. If you're going westbound trying to go southbound on the 15, you're not, not going to happen because mm-hmm. uh, the, the the roads are not even. Allegiant Stadium Way, Al Davis Way, parts of Dewey Drive, Dean Martin Drive, and Hacienda between Polaris and Valley View all closed till Thursday after the Super Bowl. Polaris Avenue Allegiance partially closed and then will be fully closed between Russell and Alibaba. That starts tomorrow. Also starting tomorrow, Luxor Drive will be closed. That'll happen through Monday. Whole bunch of closures. And if you want updates from the county, you can text SBLV to 31996. It's currently 40 degrees. It's a high of 49. It's going to be cloudy all day long. And it looks like it's gonna. we're going to get some sunshine on Saturday and Sunday, though, for the big game. So that's good. There we go. Yeah. You'll, they'll be inside. But you know what, though? The grass outside going to get for some the sun. camera shot. Ah, there, there we go. Yeah, yes. from the blimp. The blimp <laughs> was testing a good year blimp. Oh, my here. God. I'm so excited. It's the only thing of the Super Bowl I'm going to see is the blimp. Be like, hey, look, that thing's filming the thing I can't afford. <laughs>